We are ready to snap freeze our fresh tissue sample. We have the fresh tissue, materials to make an isopentane and liquid nitrogen bath, a forcep or spatula, a pre-cooled Wheaton cryo-elite cryovial, and dry ice. First, we will prepare the isopentane and liquid nitrogen bath. Fill two-thirds of a metal beaker with isopentane. Make sure you add enough isopentane to fully submerge the tissue. Place in a doer of liquid nitrogen filled to the same level as the isopentane to allow sufficient contact. Incubate for at least 15 minutes. Next, we will prepare the fresh tissue. Using a rolled up laboratory wipe, absorb excess blood or solution from the surface of the tissue to limit ice crystal formation. Using either a forcep or spatula, lower the tissue into the isopentane until fully submerged. Keep the tissue submerged for approximately one minute or until frozen. The freezing time may vary based on the tissue type and size. Do not place the tissue directly into the liquid nitrogen. The temperature difference between the tissue and the liquid nitrogen may cause boiling on the surface of the tissues, leading to air pockets and uneven freezing. This may crack and morphologically damage the tissue. Once frozen, transfer the tissue to a pre-cooled Wheaton cryolite cryovial and place on dry ice. To prevent evaporation and dehydration of the tissue sample, snap frozen tissue sample must be stored in a sealed container. Store frozen tissue at minus 80 degrees Celsius for long-term storage, or immediately proceed to frozen tissue embedding. We have snap frozen our fresh tissue, and next, we will OCT embed our frozen tissue.